Oh, look at here. My sons. My sons. My enlightened sons. <laughs> uh, morning, Dad. One's a prophet, one's an ex-con. <laughs> you know, I understand this ex-con reference, but I don't, I don't get this prophet stuff. What do you mean you understand the ex-con reference? I, I understand the ex-con reference. Your ass go to prison? Yeah. Your ass out of prison? I'm sitting right here, Dad. <laughs> and you an ex-con? <laughs> No, 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 I'm not denying that. I'm not denying that. It's just that I don't understand this, pro this, this prophet reference. Uh, your egghead brother here, he's the prophet. Don't start. <laughs> remember, remember the end of racism, Gregory? Um, electing Obama, a black man with an African name marks the definitive end of racism today. Remember saying that, sir? Yep, that's what I said, Dad. Fast forward two years later. Rise the Republican Nationalist Party. All right, all white, all straight and ugly. <laughs> Apples and oranges, Dad. Politics, not race. Oh, so race has nothing to do with the intense hatred these people have for Obama. The right wing hated Clinton too, remember? As in, while Willie Clinton, first black president? <laughs> okay, Dad, look, I'll give you this. <clears throat> this blatant hatred of a sitting president may be unprecedented. Maybe. However, it has more to do with a confluence of things than racism alone. Bullshit. For example, the economy. Oh, and the fix the economy. To get this country back in shape. Let's go back to the white boy trickle down crap that got us here in the first place. Not white boy, Keynesian. <laughs> All right. When. Rich people prosper. We all prosper, son. When master's happy, his niggas is <laughs> First of all, Dad. <laughs> you feel me? You feel uh, I feel you. I feel you, Dad. <laughs> what did I tell you about using that word in this house, Dad? Come on now. Oops. That's right. A no-no in my son's proper middle-class home. No, I mean a no-no in all black proper middle-class homes. One well, would hope so. Yeah, stricken clean out of the... Uh, clean out of the middle-class black vernacular. Just to be rehashed in metaphor by the racist right. Dad, don't start. Oh, Dad, don't start. This uh, fake-ass, middle-class, sensibility nonsense. White folks call Obama nigger 6,000 ways, and I can't use the N-word in my own son's house. Apples and oranges, Dad. Bertha's call Obama a foreign nigger. Punk. T-punks call him a socialist nigga. The white liberals deem him to be a weak, compromising nigga. But I can't say the N-word in my own son's home. Okay, Dad. His brother jailed unjustly with an entire generation of niggers. And I can't even say the N-word in my own son's home. Okay, Dad. Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic.
Okay, Dad. Pathetic. The end of racism. Ha, ha, ha.